Tao overflows, Karmapa and Osho. One who is awakened, he can see beyond time and space. He understands it, but he is talking to those people who cannot see even clearly through their own eyes because of different shades and colors on the eyes. I do not know what kind of glasses they use. Probably it many things filters. As a result, normally the awakened ones do not explain such things to common people. Only few who are capable of developing that inner vision can be explained such things for the process of their own growth and transformation. Lama Karmappa had said that one of Osho's body from the previous birth is preserved in a cave in Tibet. There are 99 bodies, among them one is of Osho that was said by Karmappa. From the left, when you are counting from the left to right, it is 97th body and when you are counting from right to the left, it is the third body and the body is a skeleton because the outer other things, flesh and so that decomposes, only the skeleton remains. So from that, how can you know? How would you know that this person looked like this in the past? It is intuition and inner vision is the only thing that confirms that. Besides that, even the skeleton carries the energy of the awakened one. That's why the shrines are very important. When you go to the shrine, although it is matter, but it contains the energy field of that awakened one and it surrounds there. So only those who are open to the heart can feel this, otherwise it is not possible. In Tibet, they have tried for thousands of years to preserve the bodies wherein some extraordinary thing has happened. They have preserved such bodies as an experimentation because such events do not happen again and again and do not happen so easily either. After thousands of years, once in a while, such things happen. Karmapa was very excited and indicated a close association with Osho in past life. Sheikh Brajmohan Lal has indicated about that. The Hazrat Abul Hasan Nasirabadi indicated the coming of Lalaji and Chachaji to this Nakshbandi fold. The I have experienced and explained at times why did I choose this family? It is based on the past experiences, past understanding and past awakening. Osho's last birth is said to have occurred 700 years ago, but the birth that Karmapa is talking about is even before that. Osho was one of their great incarnations two births ago from this present birth. Present is Osho, the one 700 years ago, that was the one the, when he, before that, in that incarnation or birth, Osho was one of the great incarnations of Karmapa lineage. If you want to see one of Osho's past incarnations, you can go to Tibet and see the golden statue 
where it is preserved in the Hall of Incarnations. Asked of whom Osho is an incarnation, Lama replied, now that is secret. It cannot be revealed for the reason that I had mentioned in the beginning. You have a different mindset, shades on your eyes. So even if I try to tell you, you will not be able to understand. And it is not permitted and remains a secret. Unless someone is the head of our monasteries, we do not disclose whose incarnation he is, Karmapa said, and he is right in that matter. My blessings are always there, and I know that whatever we Tibetans are not able to do to help others, Osho will do, and this is true, and it has happened. Osho is the only person capable to do this. He took birth in India specifically. Just as I had chosen the family of these Nakshbandi masters so that the process of growth continues. And I am able to do the work that has been left beforehand. You are very fortunate to have him. He is the only divine incarnation living, yes, living one, because the awakened one never dies. Instead, there is a change of form from formful to formless, and he, Osho, will be a world teacher. Osho's past life was 700 years ago, and in that life, coming to the end, he was fasting for 21 days. But just before the end, however, before the completion of the entire 21 days fast, he was killed. Three days of the fasting had remained incomplete. This has to be completed in this life when we know him as Osho. For three days after he was born, he did not drink mother's milk. None could understand this mystery. In existential scheme, nothing happens unnecessarily. There is a great scheme behind every event. This human mind cannot understand. There is a purpose behind each happening. While it is happening, we are never in harmony. The purpose you come to know only after it has passed. And one who is in harmony before it happens, while it is happening, and also when it has happened, and is in total harmony, is sure to attain awakening soon. How does this happen? If it is like you are recording a voice or a message or a song, while recording, all the musicians, musical instruments, equipments are visible, they are formful. These can, you can visualize these and feel. However, once the song or the message is recorded, it is no more form. It is stored somewhere. In modern terminology, we save it in iCloud or somewhere else. It will all depend on where do you want to save it. Many may not be able to be aware of all that you have recorded, done or saved. Not only this, one who heard of your recordings will have to search the places where the recording has been saved. In modern times, we have different search engines. There are different techniques and places to save. There is a process to retrieve the message as well. How does one discover depends on one's intuition and trust in the existence and the process in which the events 
take place in life and the world will know Osho or any master according to his own understanding. World will know me according to your own understanding and inner growth. However, only a few will realize what an awakened one is and it applies to all the awakened ones. During the time of Lalaji, only few could recognize and that too for their vested interests. And now everybody is trying to understand Lalaji or Osho or any enlightened master according to their own growth and understanding. He will be the only person who can guide anyone properly along the path and can be a world teacher of his age and comes and times to come his energy shall continue to guide the seekers along the path even after he is no more in physical form but you have to learn how to discover that energy and connect to that it applies to even the sufi masters and others also Indeed, he has taken birth only for this purpose. Someone asked Osho, please would you say something about your last life and if you were born in your present life fully realized. Osho explains, my previous birth took place 700 years ago. It can be said that I was born with near about full knowledge. I say near about full knowledge only because some steps have been left out but deliberately and deliberately that can be done. In this connection, the Jan thinking is very scientific. Such is the way of each awakened one. He assumes form only for a specific purpose. The purpose is twofold. Try to understand this with an example. You are a stage performer and a singer. You perform on a stage for entertainment many will come and listen to you while you are performing those who come to listen to you are your contemporary thus one aspect of your performance is over but you have an option to preserve your singing in audio or video form for those who will come afterwards this is purpose for those who will come afterwards and want to listen I am explaining this to you on the basis of my own experience with life from the time life happened for the first time on earth till now. I also know who have been with me through, the, through that period. Many have attained enlightenment and have dissolved back into the existence and those who have not their journey will continue. Some of them are still with me in this life for the continuation for such a con con such is the continuous process. It has been continuing and shall continue till eternity last. The world is a stage on which we come to make our contribution when the time and the role assigned to one to perform on the stage is over he will be replaced by another and thus continues the process. One more thing you may want to know. What about times to come, meaning future? I can explain, but you will not be able to comprehend that. Therefore, allow it to happen on its own and evolve out of the womb. But I assure you, you will have the awareness of this when needed. Enough for now.